Right, this is the part of the show where I'm going to show you top tackle tips. Wayne's World first, okay guys? Right, this first tip has got to be one of my favourite tips. I've got a couple of great wacky ideas I'm going to put in this section, but uh, this is the first of hopefully many. Right, what has a brush used for doing the washing up with and a label that came off of some safety equipment? What have they both got in common and what have they got to do with fishing? Let me tell you guys, it's these. What is it? It's these little plastic tanks here. Look, these little things that hold the tags on. Right, you want to know where I'm going with this? Trust me, guys, it's a cracker. I'll take that off. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, you may have seen these. They are uh, little bits of plastic. They hold on, as I say, tags or uh, uh, anything like the price or even uh, instruction manual, stuff like that. But what I see here, guys, what I see is not a little piece of plastic that holds a tag on. No, I see bait stops. Loads and loads of free bait stops. Look at that. If you look closely, you'll see they look just like little bait stops. And if you cut one off at a time, they work perfect with boilies, with corn, meat, anything like that on a hair rig. They're fantastic. Don't spend $2.99 for a bag of bait stops. You only get about 10 in there or $3.99. Go for branded names and all that. Wow, blooming we. And some people like me with a bit of a tight butt, I end up using little uh, sticks or a blade of grass or something like that. That also works. Don't get me wrong, that's fine and it's free. But these work just, well, just as good as proper bait stops, guys, and they're free. You can't get better than that. If you go into any shops, I'm sure you'll be able to ask them, say, can I have some of them? They're probably even on the floor and they probably don't mind you taking them away. You're doing the world a favor, you're recycling as well. So there you go. That's the first top tip, wave of fishing top tip, bait stops. You can't beat that with a stick, guys. Any great ideas, please put them in the comment section below. Put on there that they're always well fishing, totally top tackle tip or something like that. So I know what you're talking about and that way I'll be able to perhaps use it in the show in the future. I've got a couple of ideas of my own. Anyway, enough of the fantastic tips, the money saving tips, mind you. Back to the show guys, always well fishing. Stay tuned for more tip action. That sounded a bit gay. Ugh. here at uh, Ponds End Lock. I've only been here five minutes and the method, <clears throat> again, that I'm using today, small gear, very light, light tackle, light reel, light main line. Don't forget guys, trace up, little five and a half foot rod and also using tiny little rubber lure, the little shad that I was using last week with a little uh, shot just above it to give it a bit of uh, his nose, a little bit of um, weight to help it sink. Trust me, the tail flutters through the water. Perch love it. Now the reason why I'm coming down the canals against the river is the key reason here is on the canal as you can see water's edge is maintained very well nine times out of ten by local councils and as a result of that there's no vegetation so when it comes to using small tackle like very small rods and reels uh, uh, very short and stubby you don't have to you have to move over all the vegetation and all the reeds and everything that's in the way you can also fish around the lock which are great features as well and here perfect example nice flat feature here you've got the concrete and this is where perch like to hide underneath a bridge where it's nice and dark and per it's this perfect spot so what I'm doing as I've been doing in the last couple of videos or the video prior to this it's just walking along and dabbling it literally just in front of me just in front of where the water meets the, the, the bank it can be concrete bank like this or it can be I don't know mud or, or gravel whatever the case may be but just in front like that just dabbling it along covering a lot of ground a couple of feet a second or a couple of uh, meters a time hopefully there'll be some perch under here I've just had a bite a minute ago see I won't might, probably won't get one on camera but I can assure you this method works. You can cover a lot of ground as I say. So uh, anyway, there's a perch having a little go at it right now as it goes. Right now. I thought oh, that would have been great at catching him on camera. But never work with animals and children, eh? Especially perch. 
little pesky little critters. But anyway, the perch, the perch search continues. So ponds in lock. We're going to carry on down the navigation. We don't know if we're going to get very far today, but we're definitely going to carry on, um, and we're going to see if we can catch ourselves a decent perch just by doing this method, guys. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy, and it's quite cheap. Trust me, and it does produce. I can assure you. So let's keep going, keep fishing. Why is all fishing? Stay tuned. Onwards and upwards. There you go guys, method works, only from where the bridge is there, a couple of, couple of feet, and I've caught myself a little jack pike, they seem to love these lures as well, the little jacks. So it just works, dabbling along. First fish of the session, only been here, what, 10 minutes, as you can see, I've only walked a couple of yards. Cracking method, and these little guys love it. I'm gonna chuck him back, he's not the perch we're after, always welcome though, even if they are only small, not to catch a bigger one, but we'll pop him back and we'll try and catch a perch, but there you go, the fish are biting, so carry on fishing, you know the score guys. Wayne's World, stay tuned, more pike action. There you go guys, that's what we've come for. One of these fantastic stripey specimens. Look at that for a fish. The perch search has well and truly got underway. What a cracking fish. It actually nailed that little lure. When of this size guys, you see the little crown start to appear above their heads as he puts his dorsal up for us for the camera. Wayne's World Fish is obviously a fan. But a little crown there to show his maturity. Fantastic fish, absolutely fantastic fish. Lovely bit of girth, I don't know, what, nine, 10 ounces perhaps? Fantastic fish, and look at the mouth on that. My goodness, he's got a bigger mouth than my girlfriend. <laughs> look at it. He can actually nail anything. What an absolute stunning animal, cracking little fish. That's exactly what I've come for, that's exactly what I've caught today. Over the moon with that. I'll put him back, see if there's some more. As I say, the perch search, Wayne's World Fishing. Stay tuned, subscribe on the perch. There you go. Well done fish, we'll see you soon when you're a little bit bigger. At this time of year, autumn's just on its way in and summer is losing that fight with the winter months. It's a cracking time of year, look at all the fantastic colours. We've still got the nice heat for fishing out and about. As you can see I've got my t-shirt on so it's not too cold. But at the same time that little touch of frost, oh, little touch of frost is coming in of an evening, not at the moment, of an evening. And it's a perfect, as I say, the perfect time of year. This is when the perch and the pike can really come alive. And as I say guys, I'm down today, I'm at Ponder's End Lock, or well, I'm not anymore actually. I'm a little bit south of Ponders End Lock, about half a mile. Um, this is where I used to come fishing as a young boy. It brings like a lot of memories for me, this area. This here used to be a massive factory, it used to be a Ford factory, and there used to be a blue door just opposite me there, and it was famous. Everybody say, if you want to catch fish, you go to the blue door. I've had perch, I've had pike, bream, tench, absolutely everything, including the old eels a few years ago, which I don't see much more of any of these days. The old eels are out about, and I'm a big fan of eels anyway. But yeah, it was a great place to come fishing, and it's nice for me to come down here 20 years later, maybe a little bit more, not counting, we're not counting, to come down here and reminisce on a beautiful evening like this. But anyway, enough reminiscing, let's try and catch another perch. Might as well fishing, stay tuned. Right, there you go guys. It's that time of night, as you can see, the light is fading fast. I've got myself a lovely little perch, lovely way to end the session. This is, by the way guys, is when you pack up, you think, oh, the sun's going down, it's getting dark, time to pack up. This is when these guys come alive. So just stick it out until the bitter end. What a cracking little specimen. I'm so happy I caught him just down here by the lock, pond is end lock. They say, look at the gut on him. Oh, he's been feeding well. He's been feeding really well. Um, they say that the locks don't produce and the canals don't produce. And if you stick at it and you work at it, you will actually get the right fish. You will get what you've come for. But they are hard, guys. But don't ever underestimate them. They can produce. Look at that for a perch. What a cracking little fish. I'm actually over the moon with that. Chucking, they has got to be half a pan, which is pretty good. Even if I was on a commercial water, a quarter pound perch, I'd be happy with that. So, 
There you go. Ah, oh, brilliant. I'm over the moon. I can go home happy now. I'll tell you what, I could do with a cup of tea because I'm uh, getting a bit cold and a uh, slice of cake, cup of tea. Why not? What do you reckon, mate? What does he reckon? Oh, I'd love a cup of tea, Wayne. There you go, right? He wants a cup of tea. I'll put him back with his mates for a cup of tea. Wayne's all fizzing. <laughs> Right guys, welcome to another episode of Wayne's World Fishing. Today we're fishing for perch. We're here at Dobbs Weir, that's in Hertfordshire. It's really, really, it's on navigation, Lee navigation, but it's really north. It's quite a famous spot. Um, the Dobbs Weir itself is just north of us, about oh, 750 metres north. And we're just a little bit south, as you can see, we're at the lock itself. We haven't had much, we've been here about 45 minutes, we've had a couple of little bites with perch, but nothing fantastic. But we're heading south, we're going all along the River Lee, navigation, heading south from here, hopefully all the way back to Ponder's End Lock, perhaps even further down to Tottenham, Tottenham Howe, and maybe Hackney Marshes. We'll see how long we've got, because uh, time is against us. It's about midday, it is a hot day, and it is very sunny, so as most of you probably know, perch won't really, and um, pike, won't really bite when it comes to uh, being hot and sunny. They prefer it to be a bit overcast and a little bit on the muggy side. You never know, unless you go, you'll never know. I've got Charlie here today, say hello Charlie. You all right? Yeah, don't actually say hello Charlie, say hello, yeah. Hello. There you go, Charlie here, look, Charlie's helping out. I met Charlie last week and we've been fishing, well he's been fishing with a buddy of mine and today he's come and helped me catch some perch. Now his job today is to catch a big perch. Odds are, I might probably catch a big pike because he's got a good lure on for pike. As always guys, if you're perch fishing, I'll show you my setup a bit later on, but please always make sure you use a trace because whatever a perch will eat, a pike and a zander will see as well. And I don't want to catch perch and pike, uh, pike and zander with big plugs stuck in their mouths because nobody bothered, bothered to put on any kind of wire traces, okay? There's no excuses, so always look after your fish guys. Anyway, onwards and upwards, onwards, perhaps now to Dobbs Weir, the weir itself, and maybe down on to uh, Cheshunt Lock is the next one we're going along yeah. to. It's Cheshunt Lock, which is south of here. So, uh, boys all fishing, hopefully stay tuned for more today perch action. Stay tuned. Say goodbye, Charlie. Bye. Uh -oh. Well, see you in a bit. <laughs> Wayne's World Fishing, after a thousand casts, I finally got myself a little Jack Pike. Not what we came for, guys. Not what we came for by far. But very welcome, nonetheless. Probably one of the smallest pike I've had for a long while. Well, actually, it's not. There you go. Jack Pike. <laughs> Come for perch, catch pike. What do I say? Never target species. Anyway, I'm going to slip this one back, take the hook out, slip it back. Hopefully we catch ourselves a perch. So onwards and upwards, well, I say onwards and upwards, more like uh, onwards and downwards, because we're going down, downstream. So uh, where are we now? What, what lock are we at, Charlie? Cheshunt, near Cheshunt. We're Cheshunt Station, so we're on our way now to Abbey Lock. But very welcome, little Jack nice. Pike. Might as well fish in, stay here, stay tuned. Click on the pike, subscribe on the pike. There you go, so that's it. Stay tuned, more fishing action. Might as well fish in, stay tuned. Right guys, as you saw, we had a little pike back there, nothing fantastic, only a little jack pike, but anyway, a pike, nevertheless, always welcome. I'm going to run you through what I'm using, a little dowel, a five foot rod, I'm using a six pound main line, a little dowel, a tiny little wheel there, nothing spectacular. It comes down to a 15 pound wire trace, come in the other this, Charlie. This, tra this trace I made myself. I put a clip on the end there so I can change over from lure to lure really quickly and traces really quickly as well without having to keep tying a hot, tying a knot every time. As it goes down to a 15 pound line and it goes down to this, my new weapon of choice, these tiny little jelly lures. These are great. Now let me show you how these things work. They admit they're made by a fox, no advertisement to fox, fox warriors. These I think are the four, uh, four centimeter size ones and I've got one slightly bigger here and these are seven centimeter I prefer for perch I prefer these ones you know come in a range of colors um, but these so far have been great I've been using them for the last couple of weeks now there are a hundred ways to hook them as I said before they're made of jelly they look the business on the hook when they go down this little towel here this little this little uh, spaded towel flutters about in the water and it looks great it's a real attractant you can hook them the way I have use your own hooks and weight the tip there so you've got like a weighted head on it so as it goes down it, it kind of as I say it's, it's front heavy and you've got the, the spaded towel that flaps about in the water it looks fantastic or you can spend a bit more extra money and buy hooks with this weight already on and um, Fox make those they're a little bit expensive mm, can't get them everywhere but I'm pretty sure with an SSG uh, shot just on the end of the on the uh, trace there it'll do just it does just as well trust me guys i've had perch and pike on that but you can buy them as well anyway that's what i've been using i have gone over to the plug temporarily 
uh, but I haven't had much luck with that. So I would say onwards and upwards, but we're actually going downstream. So downstream we go to uh, Enfield Lock next. Enfield Lock, yeah, Enfield Lock. Let's hopefully we'll catch some perch down at Enfield Lock. Who's to say we will? Who's to say we won't? But it usually does produce. So let's go on, or on, I'll say onwards and upwards, but onwards and downwards to Enfield Lock, downstream to Enfield Lock. Homes all fishing, stay tuned for more fishing action. Let's go. Right guys, I came for perch, and here he is. The specimen of the day. He's only tiny, bless him, he's a couple of ounces. But I'm so grateful that we finally caught him. It's been such a hard day today. It's just getting to that time of night now, the witching hour, when they start to bite. Don't forget, guys, the reason why these guys have got such big eyes, they use those eyes, they're predatory fish, and when the light goes down, their pupils dilate, and they get the advantage. And that's why they start to feed at times like this, dusk and dawn. But hey, always welcome. Even if he is a little person, I'll just chuck this one back. There he goes. All right, guys, it has been slow today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to continue this video on and next week we've got as far as Enfield Lock you can see it here but we are at Enfield Lock, just north of Enfield Lock actually um, perhaps next week I'll uh, come back out again and we'll go from Enfield Lock south all down the River Lee navigation we're going for perch, we'll also try a couple of other methods perhaps next week as well for perch so stay tuned, hopefully on the way back to the van hopefully we might have a perch or a pike, you never know Got to be in the Twitter, guys. So sitting around, flat watching on YouTube, you're not here to win it. Get outside and go fishing. Stay tuned for more fishing action here at Wayswell Fishing. Right, I'm here we are. This is the day where it's going to be the final video for the perch search, guys. Okay, this is where Charlie comes into his own. Charlie, we're going to catch a monster today, or what? Yeah. Is it a secret location where we're going? Not really. Wait secret amongst us anyway I'm afraid it is guys I'd love to tell you where we're going but I've uh, sworn to secrecy because we're picking up Barry today and he's showing us his personal monster location he reckons today is where we're gonna find and catch apparently the biggest perch that I've had on camera so far we've had some monsters up to now or some good fish at least up to now but today apparently will be the pinnacle of the uh, perch search I hope so let's put this one to rest so Charlie are, are you feeling confident yep not really the levels of enthusiasm I'm looking for today, Charlie. Charlie, are you feeling confident? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gold. They say never work with animals or children, and I think he falls in both categories. <laughs> We're waiting for Barry, so come on, Barry. Let's get down to the river. We want to catch a monster perch today. Wayne's all fishing. The monster for monster perch search continues today down to the river. The secret location at the river. That is right. Stay tuned. But here we are guys, we're in our secret location. We've picked up Barry, who's my secret weapon, and he's told me that this is where the monster perch are gonna be. That's true. This is true, is it, yeah? yeah Apparently this is where the end of the video is gonna, this is the pinnacle of the video. Today is where we're gonna catch the monster that is gonna make the perch search worthwhile. So what's the play, uh, game, game plan for today then, Bazaar? Um, straight lures. Straight lures. <laughs> lures. Lures around, light lures, little lures around here and you'll be surprised what comes out of this water what about you telling me about those rapala lures those um broken um, in half ones these ones are apparently quite good yeah they look pretty good they look good lures, they work <laughs> apparently so i was going to stick to my uh fox jelly lure there the warrior lure but barry reckons these these are even half, these work as well little, little plugs rapalas. yeah well we'll give it a go anything's worth uh, giving yeah, it a everything's go worth a try yeah the water's ever so low there's a lot of stream of weed in there and that seems to be a problem at the moment so perhaps i'll be going for a lure that floats or does it does it not yeah, lure floats or you can do weedless it's a good idea weedless i've never tried that me method before we'll give it a go i'll, I'll make one up for you <laughs> thank you very much well let's stop talking let's get out there let's yeah. catch one of these monster perch because the perch search will end today uh, barry has assured me that the monster perch is here we just got to right. fucking find it let's do this guys sure. <laughs> it works. It's right under the hanging um um, oh, tree over there, pass it over there. Barry. Where is he? Pass it right. Yeah, yeah, I see him. He's right in front of you, Barry. Parallel with you. Look, can you not see him? He's humongous. Oh, yeah, not cute, but... Right, come on, Baz, go on. Barry's well fishing right on his nose, Barry. Oh, you need to bleed the the poor thing. Oh, mate, that's a good sized pike, that is. Let me hold it. That's a good sized pike. Come on, Barry. Oh, no. Do you not have it, huh? No. no. Yeah, spot, there he is, there he is, look at it. I think he's spotted here. Yeah, well done, Charlie, good, well spotted. Oh, right, Barry, what you got there, mate? Nice little perch there. That is a lovely perch, you end this session. And a little Rapala lure. And the Rapala. 
and look as you can see guys it is getting dark it's still visible things are still visible but because um, i had to put the old night mode on the camera because uh, it is too dark to do a bit of filming but look at that for a specimen well done mate lovely fish that is absolutely spot that is a that is the monster that we came for it's taken some doing but it, it was they are in here as and there's bigger as well mate it's bigger than that much bigger well that'll do for me but don't worry today. for now but we can we, we're very happy with him that's a serious <laughs> fish so that's a good Give one Wayne's World well Fishing, the search for perch guys has finished. Look at that for an absolute specimen, an animal of a fish. This has got to be best part of about two and a half pounds, probably even more maybe. It's a personal best. Look at that. Don't worry about my finger guys, that was where a pike bit me earlier. That's not, it's not the perch, I ain't putting that down his throat. Barry, what do you reckon to that? Wicky man, perfect. That, it's just, that is it. Stick his dorsal up for the viewers at home there Barry. Look at that. Oh my god guys, it's a Jurassic perch over the moon. Well, stay tuned for more fishing action here on Wayne's World Fishing. Next week, we're going for, hopefully, we're going for bream. So stay tuned, subscribe on the fish, guys. Let's stay tuned for more amazing fishing action. Well done, Baza. Wayne's World Fishing.